Today, the exciting news is that I have just started a gaming channel. Hey guys, Cam18 here, bringing you guys with the Fiddler, not the Riddler, the Fiddler, and he is a villain of the Flash. And I apologize for not making a video, a Lego video with me talking in it for three weeks. I know I took a huge break. I've never taken such a long break from my Cam Teen channel, but I recently made a gaming channel, which I'm really happy and excited about. Don't worry, this channel's not going anywhere. It's going to keep growing, and I'm going to be... <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still going to be very active on this channel, as well as my gaming channel. And a lot of you guys haven't subscribed or checked it out. So if you could please head on over there. It's called Karate Kid 569 I will put a link in the description. So click on it, subscribe, and leave a comment saying that you came from the Fiddler's video. <clears throat> and I'll be very happy. And thank you to everyone who already came over and subscribed. But that wasn't too many of you. Only about 20 of you maybe. So I'm hoping out of the... 2,000 of you guys, hopefully like a couple hundred of you guys can subscribe because that would help me get started very well. <clears throat> but we're not here to talk about my gaming channel and what other stuff. We're here to talk about the Fiddler. He's a bit of a weird character, I will say, because he plays a fiddle. And, I mean, I don't know what other villain really plays an instrument, so this is kind of weird. But, um, I'm guessing he plays music and it somehow affects Flash. And by affecting Flash, he's, like, not able to run or something. Or, I don't know exactly. I didn't really do too much research on this character. But I did have to make a fiddle out of paper. I know it's pretty crappy, but, hey, I mean, I wanted to put something. I couldn't leave him empty-handed. And I know this um, bow here is awfully big for this tiny fiddle but I made the best of it so we're going to move this and you can see that <clears throat> for the torso I used um, the elf torso from I want to say series 11 sorry if I screwed that up but there's only one elf out there from the minifigure series I used the flesh hands here and then for the head I used a mutt's head from Indiana Jones and then <clears throat> Let's see what else. There's the hair piece. And this is from Minifigure Series 10 from that British soldier. And then he's got plain green pants. And so he's a pretty simple minifigure, but he's pretty cool. I'm planning on doing more Flash villain minifigures. <clears throat> I have some One Piece fig minifigure customs to do. And... I'm running a little low on suggestions. I know I said this somewhat recently, but it's true I am. So if you guys are still here in the video, I could use some suggestions. I have a couple of hauls I can do, but that's only like two videos. So I need like a bunch of ideas. So feel free to leave lots of comments. And oh yeah, I need to make a Saitama custom minifigure. I know not all of you guys enjoy anime, so I'm not going to spam you guys with like... 10 anime custom minifigures, but, um, yeah, so, let's see, what else, oh yeah, I wanted to give a shout out and congratulations to my little bro, he's not actually my little bro, but I love calling him that, Chrome Dome, sorry, I don't have anything to represent Chrome Dome here, but congrats little bro on 1,000 subscribers, it hasn't been that long, maybe like a year since you joined the LEGO YouTube community. And it's been awesome having you around. And it's awesome you hit a big milestone. And if you haven't seen him yet, guys, make sure to check him out and help him to keep growing. So that's about it, guys. If you guys want to check out my Instagram and Twitter, the link will be in the description, as always. And make sure to subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel. Check it out.